Bring that over here. Madonna, where is my little? Oh, quit screwing around! Oh, 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 Madonna, have you seen my baby? I can't live without my precious little sweetie doggy. Oh, where is my Madonna? Where is she? Oh, oh, Madonna. This is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. Those ain't zombies. What would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now? They're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. <laughs> we should be safe in here. All right then, feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall and bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On the leg, come on, pronto. Came to vandalize my store, huh? Get on my watch! Someone's been hurt. I need medicine. Hurt? That's just what this bitch said <laughs> when she came to vandalize my store. <sighs> I don't take kindly to vandalism. I won't allow it. Listen to me, and listen good, partner. I don't allow vandalism in my store! <sighs> my store. <laughs> my... store! <laughs> Who will run my store when I'm gone? <laughs> my store? My food? My sales? My... Customers? <sighs> Have a nice day. Clean up! Register six! Uh. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
back in the land of the living, you're one tough cookie. Can you stand? Look, I saw you at the entrance yesterday. You needed medicine too. Maybe we should work together. I don't need any help. You people don't know a thing. You're the ones who caused this nightmare. You ruined Santa Cabeza and started all of this. Hey. Wait, I've got to talk to you. Would you listen to me? I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to talk. Now, what do you know about all this anyway? Are you a reporter? Let go. I won't run, so let go. You're hurting me. How much do you already know? Have you called for help? Hold your horses, babe. I'm the one asking the questions here. What is Santa Cabeza, and how is it connected to all this? The zombies were created by you, not us. That's what Carlito wants you all to know. Who? If you want to interview someone, talk to Carlito. He has all the answers. You're talking about that guy that took pot shots at us with a sniper rifle, aren't you? Take me to him. No. Not now. He's injured. And in no mood to talk to anyone. I'll bring him to you once he's recovered. I can persuade him. I'm his little sister, after all. Why should I trust you to bring him to me? The zombies are message from Carnito. He wanted people to know. Fine. Go. Will you be back? Tonight at midnight. Wait for us in the store next to the camera shop in the North Plaza. <sighs> I'm Isabella, by the way. And I promise, I'll come back. Carlito. I tried to talk him into coming, but it was no good. He, he doesn't trust anyone. He shot you? He didn't mean to. He was upset. I 
don't know what he'll do next. Hey. Hey. Who is that? Is she hurt? Uh, yeah. Uh, you're looking at the bad guy's sister. Bad guy? The one who caused all this? That's right. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak. His sister? What in the hell is going on here? I mean, does this have anything to do with that announcement earlier? I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? But he shot her, I can tell you that. And just so you know, that would be the same guy that shot you. What's he after? What's his ultimate goal? I don't know. But according to her, his plan isn't over. Not yet. Fine. Consider her in DHS custody. We'll question her when she wakes up. <sighs> what is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella... This is an emergency, so we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza, just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby! Huh? Huh? Tell me the truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? Yeah. <laughs> 
So the government's now in the zombie making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover up. What do you know? We were trying to mass produce cattle. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume in a single day? <coughs> that research was absolutely necessary! <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> One day, in my village, the people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. The zombies spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up? Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. <sighs> I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. <clears throat> mm. All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn! We got a regular suicide bomber on our hands! It's worse than you think. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? If that bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere! <sighs> He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off. 
If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low. There's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it. As soon as Brad gets his hands on that terrorist, I guess it'll be case closed, huh? Oh. You know of anything else he could be planning? No. Nothing but the bombs. He's got his computer hidden away. I'm sure there's plenty of information on it. Can you take me there? To his hideout? Leave it to me. Here it is. Let's go. It's no good. It's password protected. I'll try words we both might know. Family stuff. Things like that. What's this cable? It looks like part of a jamming device. I won't be able to disable it unless I log in. Headed back now. <sighs> He's dead. worried about was you in the end. But damn it! He died without telling me a damn thing. You know, I thought he was terrorist scum. But... In the end, all he really cared about was his sister. The jerk. Here. He wanted you to have this. Did you figure it out? But your mama, Mother Earth, our parents said that a lot. The place we lived, Santa Cabeza, 
was blessed with nature. Please believe me when I say my brother didn't want all this. He only wanted to live in peace in Santa Cabeza. The military. They'll come, won't they? It's just like Santa Cabeza. The government wants to cover this up too. be damned. He's still alive. That son of a bitch made it. <gasps> that must mean he got his scoop. I can't wait to get my share of the take. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Tight, buddy. I'm on my way. Huh? Hey, hey! See Over you right here! here! I see you! Yeah! <laughs> I'm on my way! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you did it! You did it! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> It wasn't easy getting you back here by myself, you know. You collapsed on the roof. Oh. I collapsed? No, I... Wait. 
does that mean? Must have gotten yourself infected somehow. <laughs> the time between infection and zombification differs greatly from person to person. You're lucky, Frank. You seem to have a very high level of resistance. So, uh... So what you're saying is that I get to spend longer waiting for the inevitable. Is that it? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure lucky is the word I'd use. Helicopter crashed. No one's coming to help us now. It's over for us. No matter what we do. What if... What if there was some way to impede the infection? If we could extract and administer a large dose of hormones from the corpus alatum of an adult queen, it would potentially hinder the growth of the larvae in your blood, retarding the zombification process. Hang on a sec. I don't understand a word you just said. What are we supposed to do? I'll need certain supplies to get this to work. And queens. As many as you can get your hands on. Uh, uh. All right. Sounds like a plan. Sure beats sitting around here waiting to die. Uh. So, this drug that stops the parasite growth... Have you ever made it before, or is it just a theory? When I was working in the medical lab, my brother asked me to research a method of suppressing the parasite. Of course, back then, we didn't extract the hormones directly. We synthesized them in the lab. Huh. So... He was looking to protect himself from his own terrorist scheme. He wanted a way out, is that it? I don't know. I know he didn't bring the drug with him here. I have no idea what he intended to use it for. You think I'm just making excuses, but Carlito kept things from me. Even if this, uh... Even if you do manage to make this drug, it won't completely cure me, will it? I'm afraid not. When the effect wears off, the parasite will develop as it normally would, continuing the zombification process. That lot of good that does me. Well, it's the only hope I've got now.
This is all I need as far as supplies are concerned. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, um... Listen. Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year, maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? Once the drug's development was complete, Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group of children. Want to guess just how many? Are you saying he infected these kids and then gave them your drug? That he made 50 little ticking time bombs? I don't know. I just don't know. It is possible, though. Look at this. New York, D.C., L.A. These kids are spread all over the country. If your theory is right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now. I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure, that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. <sighs> At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Okay, next on the agenda. Figure out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave. Outside, where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? <sighs> there won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. Whatever you say. My God. There are so many. Where 
on earth could this lead? I don't know. But considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We've got your smelly perfume, don't we? I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work too. I know it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Are you sure this was a good idea? Guards here, too. If we can get that gate open, they'll be too busy dealing with zombies to notice us slip by. Wait. The pheromone is starting to wear off. It's only strong enough to cover one of us. What are you... Uh, Alright, hang doing? on tight, okay? Once we're out, let's see if we can't steal ourselves that set of wheels. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. main cannon. Oh, shit. Well, what have we here? Where were you hiding when my men mopped up the mall? On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear. It's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this... incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government? Our human mistakes research. have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell, 
It's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? Yeah. <sighs> 